Prince William confirms our suspicions in 1942. He could no longer hide a sad fact that shaped his life. Princess Diana was his mother, and their bond was unshakable. The tumult behind palace doors left enduring scars. William hid his emotions for years. In an unexpected turn, he speaks up on how his mother's anguish haunts him. The interview worsened my parents' relationship and injured many others. My mom was everything to me, he says, revealing long hidden secrets. Diana William connection. Prince William and Princess Diana were deeply in love and dependent from the start. Diana, who became famous at an early age, sought comfort in motherhood. William, the oldest of her two sons, witnessed her most vulnerable times and had a special bond with her. William subsequently said, my mother was my guide, protector, and best friend, not simply a royal. These words accurately describe their deep friendship. Diana wanted to give her sons a normal childhood. She allowed William and Harry to live outside the palace, unlike previous royals. Diana took her boys to amusement parks, fast food restaurants, and London to show them life outside royal protocol. She wanted William to develop empathy and compassion, which she thought were important for a king. Diana's sensitivity surrounding William was touching. Despite his youth, William comforted her during her public divorce from Prince Charles. Diana certainly struggled emotionally, especially in her later years of marriage. William often comforted his mother when he saw her crying. Even though he was too little to grasp what was occurring, William supported Diana during her worst periods. A famous story about this dynamic occurred at Diana's marriage's toughest time. William was claimed to have smuggled tissues under the bathroom door to his crying mother several times. A young prince softly supporting his mother in her hour of distress shows their particular kinship. Even then, William protected his mother instinctively, long before he could fully understand her problems. Diana's motherhood went beyond comforting. She jealously guarded her sons from the media and royal expectations. She famously said, I want my boys to comprehend people's feelings, insecurities, distress, and hopes and goals. She made several motherhood decisions based on this desire. She took her sons to homeless shelters, hospitals, and AIDS clinics to show them the challenges of everyday people. These events shaped William. They formed him as a guy and his adult ideals. Diana influenced William's royal role. William knew his responsibilities as the British heir from a young age. Diana always maintained his uniqueness and freedom despite this understanding. She wanted her sons to have purpose without the stifling confines of royal titles. She remarked, I want my children to know they are humans first and princes second. This concept influenced William, who credits his mother for teaching him kindness and humility. William's mother's hardships and affection for him became more apparent as he grew older. She always tried to insulate him from royal life's darker side. William was raised to comprehend the emotional challenges of public life. Life would be empty after Diana's awful demise. He would always remember her lessons, love, and spirit. At 42, William finally admitted the influence of his family dynamics that tore his boyhood apart due to this mother-son bond. Diana was everything to him and her impact lives on. How Prince Charles' romance ruined everything. Prince Charles' affair with Camilla Parker Bowles disrupted royal stability and left his family emotionally scarred. In the 1980s, Diana discovered the affair, which devastated their marriage and family. William's father's betrayal was a lifelong wound. Diana long feared Charles and Camilla were too close. Her suspicions were verified when she confronted Charles about the affair. Charles famously said, well, I refuse to be the only Prince of Wales who never had a mistress according to stories. Diana was terribly hurt by them. They reinforced her notion that her husband no longer cared about their family. The discovery changed her life, she said. From then on, the royal marriage's fractures were obvious. Though young William felt his father's affairs effects in ways few could understand, he revered his mother. Watching her anguish over Charles' betrayal haunted him. My mother was the toughest person I knew, but my father's infidelity hurt her too. William reportedly told close friends. William understood his mother's emotional sorrow as a child, and the betrayal changed a pleasant environment into a war. Diana saw the romance as a betrayal of their marriage and family. She suffered in quiet, but seeing her kids struggle under their father's actions was terrible. She tried to protect them, but the palace walls were too tense. William allegedly overheard her angry discussions with Charles. He was tormented between his parents, but he never abandoned his mother. William's view of love and relationships changed after Charles' infidelity. Infidelity destroys trust and turmoil in families, as he saw firsthand. He felt Diana's anguish and his father's involvement increased his dilemma. Charles was still his father, although their connection was strained. William struggled for years to balance his allegiance to his mother and his royal obligation to his father. The affair betrayed Diana and William and Harry, who watched their family fall apart. Once stable, the royal family had been rattled, and William's life would be shaped by that treachery. 
Charles's infidelity affected more than his marriage. It caused years of family strife. The world was shocked by Princess Diana's unexpected death on August 31, 1997. Prince William, 15, saw his mother's death as more than a personal tragedy. The moment changed his life. William was in a difficult situation due to Diana's death's media frenzy and public outpouring of grief. He mourned his mother amid the world's spotlight. Diana's death occurred as William was beginning to realize his future as king. He watched his mother suffer and the media fawn over her every move during his childhood. William knew for years that Diana's life and death were well publicized. Nothing could have prepared him for losing her so publicly and heartbreakingly. William had to deal with his grief while retaining royal decorum after Diana's death. The sad news reached him and his younger brother Harry at Balmoral with their father, Prince Charles. Despite his longtime animosity with Diana, Charles was allegedly polite in telling his sons. For William, the shock was profound. Later, he realized he could not bring back his mother. He was devastated by the loss and struggled to fill the vacuum. The media scrutinized Diana's death for days. Many criticized the royal family for staying at Balmoral and not mourning publicly. Balmoral was a necessary escape from London's intense limelight for William. He understood the public's wish to mourn the people's princess but needed time to digest his grief away from the cameras. William was under the media spotlight when he returned to London. The sorrowful burial, viewed by millions worldwide, included a young William walking behind his mother's coffin, a moment that would forever be remembered. William's face showed anguish and fortitude. William kept his grief in check during the funeral and days after. In recent years, William has discussed that trauma. William mentioned in interviews that losing his mother so young was the hardest thing he's ever done. William too viewed the media differently after Diana's death. William had always been wary of the press, but her murder in Paris while being hounded by paparazzi solidified his mistrust. In subsequent years, he grew passionately protective of his privacy and that of his family determined to protect them from the constant attention that had killed his mother. This protection included Diana's memories. William made sure his mother's commemoration respected her life. Rather than her tragic death, he described her as a devoted mother who sought to protect her sons from royal life. William has described Diana as a loving mother who wanted her children to have as much normalcy as possible in interviews. William's fatherhood was also shaped by losing his mother so young. William has often reflected on Diana's lessons on love, compassion, and kindness as a parent. My mom was always there for us no matter what, and I want to be that for my children, said William. We all suspected that Diana's ideals shaped his hands-on, present fatherhood. Prince William carried a long-suspected secret for years. His honest thoughts about his parents' marriage and Prince Charles' role in Diana's unhappiness. William kept quiet about it throughout his boyhood and adulthood. He understood royal status would entail more attention, which his mother had always tried to avoid. He was dragged down by his family's anguish despite his placid exterior. William saw as a child how the public image of a joyful royal family conflicted with the private betrayal, stress, and misery. Diana shared her troubles with him, his father's affair with Camilla Parker Bowles hurt her, and he comforted her and watched. Despite knowing his parents' marital problems, William kept his emotions hidden. He carried his family's secrets and never expressed his anguish witnessing his mother suffer. He concentrated on royal duties to show a united front to the world. William never confirmed the press's or public suspicions regarding his genuine feelings. He carried the emotional burden of this silence for years, straining his connection with his father, the years after Diana's death increased William and Charles' emotional divide. William struggled with his feelings as Charles's romance with Camilla became public. He was the royally required son who supported his father's decisions. He was the young man who had witnessed his mother's anguish, knowing Charles's infidelity had caused much of it. William remained silent while rumors circulated about his true feelings. Prince William, 42, now admits what we already knew that his childhood wounds, particularly those relating to his parents' marriage, have left a lasting impact. William has admitted that his father's affair with Camilla affected Diana, him, and Harry in a rare moment of candor. William's revelation shows his years of hurt, while he doesn't blame Charles. William privately stated that his mother was the nicest and most loving and deserved better. While not condemning Charles, this admission reveals William's long hidden emotions. It's a modest admission of what many suspected that William struggles to reconcile his affection for his father with the agony he caused his mother. His admission shows the delicate balance he must strike between monarchy devotion and his mother's emotional legacy. William will continue to be influenced by Diana as he becomes a senior royal and eventual king. His mother left more than memories. It underpins his future. Diana's influence on William's family. Diana's influence is evident in William's relationship with Kate Middleton and their three children. William bases his family on Diana's principles. 
He preserves her spirit and legacy in whatever they do. One of Diana and William's most obvious similarities is their desire to normalize their children's lives despite their unusual circumstances. Diana was known for protecting William and Harry from royal demands. William follows this strategy in his family. He and Kate frequently drop their children off at school or take them to parks. Not a coincidence that William's desire to raise his children normally reflects how his mother raised him. William claimed in recent interviews that his mother taught him to put love and compassion before duty. Thinking about how Diana's royal duties and motherhood shaped his parenting, Diana's love for William and Harry contrasted with the royal's formal and distant parenting. William learned the value of emotional connection from this, which he applies to his relationships with George, Charlotte, and Louis. William has stressed open communication, something Diana instilled in him as a child, in addition to providing a loving and supportive home for his children. Diana openly discussed her mental health issues with her sons. This openness has extended to William's family. William and Kate have spoken publicly about encouraging their children to express their thoughts and discuss their concerns. William is continuing Diana's heritage of emotional honesty by raising his children in a family that values and understands their feelings. William has likewise emulated his mother in marriage. Diana's marriage troubles with Prince Charles shaped William. William learned from her misery and Charles' lack of emotional support. He strives for respect, understanding, and partnership with Kate. William and Kate's marriage is stable, unlike his parents' unstable one. And great teamwork. William wanted to establish a marriage on Diana's principles which she couldn't fully experience. William's charity is one of his strongest tributes to Diana. Diana was noted for her compassion and ardent advocacy of the marginalized and voiceless. From helping AIDS patients to fighting landmines, Diana changed the globe. William continues this heritage by advocating for mental health, conservation, and the homeless. These causes, many of which Diana started, show her lasting imprint on William's sense of responsibility and purpose. William also keeps Diana's memories alive in his children. William frequently mentions their grandmother, ensuring that her legacy lives on. George, Charlotte, and Louise never met her. William and Kate have said in interviews that they remember Diana by telling their children tales and exchanging images. William stressed that he wants his children to know their grandmother and what she stood for. His mother would have loved spending time with them. Family strife, William and Harry, Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship has been significantly influenced by their parents' broken marriage and mother's death. William and Harry handle their mother's legacy differently due to their royal roles. William, the future king, has often balanced his emotional feelings with his duties. His priorities have always been honoring his mother and serving the monarchy. Harry has become more defiant as royal life and expectations limit him. Their differing views on preserving Diana's legacy have caused strife. Harry has struggled with this balance. He has spoken more about his dissatisfaction with royal life, claiming how the media's continuous coverage of his mother killed her. Harry sees his brother's institution as a metaphor of many of Diana's desperations. The brothers' basic disagreement on their mother's legacy has created grief. William and Harry's tension increased after Harry married Meghan Markle and they resigned from royal obligations. Always concerned about the monarchy, reportedly struggled to understand Harry's decision to leave the family. Harry has spoken openly about protecting his family from the same pressures that led to Diana's tragic demise, but William saw it as a departure from their obligations they were trained to respect. William honoring his mother's memory by supporting the monarchy while Harry distances himself from it has deepened their divide. Harry has been far harsher on Prince Charles than William, who has focused on his family and the monarchy. Harry has freely discussed his emotional detachment from his father, stating that Charles's actions caused much of their family's turmoil. This has increased the brother's gap, with William more eager to reconcile with Charles and Harry angry. William and Harry walk side by side at Prince Philip's burial in 2021, revealing a change in their relationship. They've acknowledged their mother's death's lasting impact, but their approach to her legacy has divided them. Both brothers have unresolved feelings from their parents' relationship, particularly Charles's infidelity and Diana's problems, which impact their lives. William's capacity to balance his past and future will influence how he handles the crown and his mother's legacy. Future British royal era. Do you think the British royals should abandon their stiff upper lip that has forced William and Harry to hide their emotions? Comment your thoughts. We want to hear. Finished for now. See you next video.